and want to go around to the lobby to uh, meet the guide for my day trip to Honduras. Okay, this way to Santana. Santana, if we can make it to the uh, downtown area, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. And then all the way up, this is the border with Guatemala. So about two hours to the Guatemalan border. Yes. Uh -huh. And then two hours, four hours in Guatemala. Uh, two. Two hours in Guatemala and then up to Honduras. Mm -hmm. So we just made a little bit of a pit stop to get a coffee to wake ourselves up. So absolutely knackered. <coughs> right, armed with coffee. On we go. So we're just going to head to this place called Santa Ana. <coughs> Let's have a look at it, a little historical town, famous for its coffee production. So we're still in El Salvador. Uh, since that time, uh, the city is named uh, La Ciudad Heroica, something like that there. So this is the centre, the historical centre of Santa Ana. Made some from coffee. Oh, That's the name of the main plaza. Just gonna wander through the park. <coughs> How good does that music sound? <laughs> Love it. We're in the church. Look at that, it's beautiful. So there's the theatre in Santa Ana. So a very fleeting visit to Santa Ana. Now off we go to the Guatemalan border. This is new, by the way. A textile plant are all queuing up to get into work. Still in Sisal San Santa Ana? Yes. Uh -huh. So we're just driving through a little village called uh, Texas. Mm, that's the name of the drug cartel as well. And there's lots of drug cartel people who live in this area around here. So look at that mountain in the distance. It actually forms a natural border between Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. And at the top, you can step between the national park. Right, so we're at the uh, El Salvador immigration border. So it's been given the slip of paper um, to show to an immigration officer later on. But on we go. I'm just so tired though. It's 10 to 7. I'm so tired. Okay, this woman's checking them. And then on we go to the uh, Guatemalan border. Now we go into Guatemala, literally just across the river, you can hear the river. We're just queuing on the Guatemalan side. So there we are, done. Stamped it to Guatemala. These guys here are just the money changers, so if you want some Guatemalan quetzals. But on we go. Oh yeah, Santa Ana. And I came all the way up. We are here. This is Anyatu, El Salvador side. Got all the trucks waiting to get through the border. We're just driving to the first main town that we've come to. It's written on there, El... Was that it? Que, Quezal... Quezal de Peque. That's what it's called. That's where we are. Just driving through on our route to Honduras. It's so, okay or and, yeah, further back? No, it's fine. On we go. Guatemala. But now we're to the board of Honduras. Tell we're approaching the board with all the trucks. Okay, Guatemalan customs. Just waiting for my passport um, processed, which is over there, and then into Honduras. Okay, now into the Honduran side. Big queue. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, there seems to be like some sort of problem because the, the, the computer systems are all down 
on the Cotamaran side, on this on the Honduras side, she's going to go and find out. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck for a while. But we're in, we're all right, it's fine, no problem. Into Honduras. So we're all set to go. A typical border, just chaotic. And off we go to Copan. So we're just stuck, nothing's moving. Gridlock. Is that a turkey vulture? Yeah, turkey, like yesterday. Yeah. Local Honduran school. These vehicles seem popular in Honduras. So this is a little village, Copan village. Mm -hmm. Cemetery there which is passing. Familia Cruz Buesco. So, yeah, just walk, go and visit. Is it passing one of the hotels? So you get red tuk-tuks in Honduras. I just pulled up so that he can come by an umbrella because it might start raining. But look, this is what um, Honduras it looks like. 100 Lempira. It's about. We'll be coming back here later on, but it looks quite nice, doesn't it? We are at the uh, Copan archaeological site. So just securing the services of a local band. Looks well run. Eating a sandwich. So this is the plan of it. The busy season. June, July, August. Ah, okay, yeah, holiday, holiday. Exactly. When you have uh, vacations in Europe, final bird. Look at that. Just so it's a wild macaw. It is. It so is it's... not a. It is not a pet. Just living free and wild, flying, flying all over the Atlantic. They want it. Look at it. It's got a piece of corn in its claws, scoffing away. So this is what we're going to be seeing. All these little bits. So you get lots of snakes around here. It's very tropical and jungly here. And I'm just demoing the rubble. Yep. What, a does, it, what does it look like for you? A skull. Yep. I say that. Big tree up there and then you can see its root coming all the way down here. That's what it's called like saber. So here's the start of the uh, Copan ruins. Wow. No trespassing. Look at that sculpture there. That's a typical Mayan face. There's a deity in that. He's just pointed out it looks a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He does. I'd be back. So, looking at that there, this is what it did look like. I'm very impressed. So, you can see that tree sticking out, which is there. Yeah. So it's exactly the same size, the same colour, the same thing, like the real thing I was seeing. So this replica is about eight years old, you were saying eight years old? The real one's in the museum. Look at that. But guide saying can't tell the difference between the real and the, um, and the fake. Those are the uh, 16th kings of the last one dynasty. So the green mossy bits is how this was found and then this is how they've uh, reconstructed it. So this is reconstructed stone? Exactly. Okay. So the important people lived. Out of the tomb, but anyway. So there would have been treasure and skeletons sure. and things down yeah. there. And that's him. It's the Honduran countryside. Beautiful. So this is a Jaguar statue with the head missing because it was stolen in the 1930s and ended up in New York somewhere. OK. 
Okay, dancing Jaguar. Doesn't look very scary. So lots of tourists. In Sun God. Scary Sun God. Mm -hmm. King would sit up there and this is where the audience was Reincarnation by himself. And these are the altars for animal sacrifice. You reckon a Jaguar was sacrificed on that? For the Sun God. Wow. The sitting Sun God. Like the main plaza. The thing, the thing that you see covered up out of this kind of ugly tarp is the uh, hieroglyphic stairway. The temple of the inscriptions. Where well, you see the uh, ramps, that's the uh, pole court, or the uh, pole game. So we just climb to the very top of where everything is. Great view. Look what it looked like from here. So yeah, quite impressive. I like it. Guys noticed that it says no trespassing, but there's a girl up there and they're just taking pictures. He said to her, said to her, come on, get down, but they're ignoring it. This is a real monument, not a re replica. So this is to protect it from the elements, but look, there's a fabulous staircase. <laughs> Two sides of it. Mm -hmm. We're standing there, and there's the halfway mark, you can see it there, and then there have to be there five players on each team and they'd move a ball around and that's where the uh, people will watch from so this is the final main king who lived around here he's called rabbit 18 or 18 rabbit i can't remember but he was the final one with a scary name that sounds like a rapper loads of these for each of the main kings but apparently this is the um, best one because it's all got some of the paintwork on it you see the red paint like squirrels like rabbits Hamsters. okay it's our tour of that uh, and finished Come back to the exit. We're going to go to the town and um, get something to eat. So it's a baby saver or kapok tree. Just before we leave, we're going to just take this little walk through the jungle. Um, the guide there, he's um, a very keen bird watcher, so he's trying to look out for birds. But actually, there's some more runes that they found up here. Warning don't you touch this leaf, whatever it is. Keep a wary eye out for that one. So a few more little uh, bits and pieces. Look at it. <laughs> Did they? Are made of this. This is known uh, uh, as uh, Mexican calabash. Has the fruit has a hard shell. Bring some. Back to the car. Stop it at this little souvenir stand. I'm um, gonna buy something. Hopefully. He's got this. Two dollars. The locals going by. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna to go to the town of Copana Ruins. Here we go. Very steep. Uh, but this is nothing compared to other. So some other streets. It's crazy. <laughs> So we're stopping here for lunch, this little place here. The flame of the forest. Things like we're in Cuba. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, traditional um, meal. 
How do you say it? Baledo? Uh, Baleada. Baleada. So I've got my uh, beer from Honduras. So here it is. So it's what what is the bread? Todd? Wheat. Sweet. It's got all sorts in it. Yep. Mm. So we're gonna start and go in the market, which is uh, one of these buildings. So just in the central plaza, beautiful church, some ruins, and there's like a museum over there. I love the bloody hats that they're wearing, amazing hats. Don't know what this is about. Very busy though, very very busy. So we just had some coffee to wake ourselves up for our long journey back. Um, yeah, tired. That's fantastic, aren't they? So just before we set back off, we're gonna just go to the supermarket, get some supplies for the journey. Here we go. So I just bought kind of um, Honduran beer. Got all this change. So there you go, look at that. Brand new coins. So there's the town that we've just been in, just saying goodbye to it. Off we go, back to the border. We got through Honduras border, at the Guatemalan border, and the, in the issue, don't know what exactly it is, but they've got my passport in that booth, and the uh, guide's trying to sort it out. It's all a bit fraught at the moment. I think it's an issue because when we came in, the computer system wasn't working, so there's no record of us entering. Sorted. Off we go. So we've just stopped by the side of the road because there's a good view. Um, my camera battery has died, so now I'm on my phone. So back on the road, approaching the border, Guatemala. So finally arrived back at the Guatemalan El Salvador border. We get stamped out and then onwards to San Salvador. Oh, busy. Money changing going on. Welcome back to El Salvador. Yeah, I'm back into El Salvador. So two more hours to the hotel. Yep. Just stop by the side of the road because look at that view. Look at that. Amazing. So we just stopped in this town of Metapong. There's a school over there, a colonial church, um, and then a cow. Sorry about my finger. We just uh, wandered down to the main plaza of that town. Look how nice it is. El Salvador. Who would have thought it? Nice place to come to. It's a huge tree behind me. Look at that. Pigeons there. Um, I think I quite like El Salvador. Yeah, definitely worth a trip here. Time to go. Just little stop. Look at that lake and the mountains and the greenery. Um, we just stopped at a petrol station actually, but the view opposite the petrol station is far better. Came across. Okay, about 40 minutes away from the hotel. Look at the rain. So back near the hotel. Here we go. There it is. 